Hey there. All right, so for video 17, we have a couple things we want to cover today. Um, one is the difference between differentiation and positioning. So this is brand differentiation or product differentiation and positioning. There is a difference between them. The differentiation is putting the, the, the mindset of, of what is different about our product versus our competitors. Okay, so the differentiation has everything to do with how the product sits in the minds of the consumer versus the competitors. So obviously the things that make you special, the differentiators, are what you need to accentuate in differentiation. Positioning is creating a mental image and target market. So in essence, positioning is what you started out doing. When you developed a product, you need to understand whether or not that product is a luxury product, a commodity product, a regular product, a specialty product, a convenience product. So in essence, you are creating a mental image to the target market. You know who you're trying to sell to, and you're trying to reach that target market and say, okay, specifically in your minds, this is how we want this product to sit. And that is the job of a marketer, is putting that in their minds in, in regards to the target market. All right, it ties in with the product life cycle. All products have to go through a life cycle. Now, it's, it's behind me. There are a couple, couple points about the product life cycle. One, if you are developing a product or a service or a movie coming out, you better have a teaser. In today's, today's age, you better have some way of telling the consumer it's coming, it's on its way, we have something new on its way, we have a new development, whatever it is, okay? This is the world of Instagram and cat videos. You better have something out there that says, we need your attention, we need your attention, it's on its way, you can't wait, it's limited time only, it's almost here, okay? That's, that's what teasers do, that's the marketing message of a teaser. Next, you develop it. Inside here, as you're developing it, that teaser keeps going. But then you want to talk a little bit more about that product, right? This product is going to change your life how? This product is going to interact with your life how? Okay, that's the development stage. When you introduce it, your main goal of a marketer is to get trial. Trial, trial, trial. Try this product. That's why it shows up free in your mail. That's why it's sampled in the store. That's why they get coupons, all right? They gotta get it into your hands, into your mouth, whatever it is, all right? You're trying to, to and, and at this point, between introduction and growth, if it's an item like an iPad, where somebody had an idea, let's, let's put something eight and a half by 11 and, and, and use our hands, okay, that's a neat idea. You introduced it, you, you, if, it's a, if it's a brand new invention, you need to tell people about it and how they use it. And then everybody can grow because it's a brand new part of the market. So everybody's trying it, everybody's buying it. At this point, everybody's profit is increasing. You get to maturity, your marketing message has to change. Your marketing message in maturity, when the actual market levels off and you have all of these competitors around you, you need to go back over to the differentiation side. You need to head back over here and explain to people why in this world, this busy world of all of our competitors, why are we different? This is why you do differentiation and positioning, is because at some point in this maturity stage, you're going to have to tell people why they should choose your product over somebody else. Here, they just needed to choose your product and try it. Here, you need to now compete versus somebody. Because at some point, somebody's gonna drop out of this marketplace and that's right here. You just want to be the last one to decline. If you're a honey nut Cheerio, you may never decline, but all your competitors did, right? So if, there, if, there's, if there's room in the market for it to last forever, then you can stay in maturity forever. Somebody's probably gonna to have to drop out though. This is where it becomes a zero sum game. In order for someone to win, somebody's gonna to have to lose because the market is stable. Here, everybody can win. So your marketing message is changing as you go along from it's on its way to try it. We really want you to try this new item to isn't this fun, but look at why ours is different to you really should not be buying their product. Let's knock them out and then decline. You hopefully, hopefully all your competitors decline before you do. I'll talk to you later.